Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor, and in today's video we are going to cover layer zero and some updates regarding the possible airdrop. Like you can see, I have been covering layer zero since October of 2022, and in today's video we are going to check three things. There are confirmations on the code that the airdrop of layer zero is there, so I am going to tell you exactly what that code means and if really meaning that the airdrop is confirmed or not, then we are going to see a way to check if you are missing change interactions. That is very important for the possible airdrop of layer zero. And I'm going to give you a link to check the layer zero most interactive contracts. So you can go there and interact with those contracts if you are missing that. So three important things to cover here regarding the layer zero airdrop. So if you are applying already to this airdrop, this video is very important for you. We are going to cover all that and more. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's get into it. Hi crypto fans, well like I mentioned before, if you go to my website cryptocurrencystate.net and you search on the video section or you search here for layer zero, you can see all my coverage on this airdrop since October of the last year. Now you can do these videos, all those are step by step on how to apply to this airdrop. So if this is your first time trying to do layer zero, don't waste any time, do it now. Go first to this video, layer zero airdrop, the ultimate guide. Then go to the important multipliers second and you can do them this strategy for 40 transactions with $2 in a separate way in different uh, wallet. So after you did all that, then you can check the information that I'm going to share with you. We don't know exactly if the airdrop is confirmed or not and we don't know if we are really close to have it or not. But there's a lot of rumors that layer zero is going to be the next big airdrop right now. You can see in CoinGecko that they already have a page on the coins. So there's no more information here, but this will be the official preview of the layer zero token. Here is the official links. So we are waiting here to this to appear. The token is at this point confirmed to appear. What we don't know yet is if we are going to have the airdrop or not. There has been a lot of rumors about that regarding a code that was posted all over Twitter. And that was here. On one of the repositories of Layer Zero Labs, you can see here on the code, on the line 16, and actually in a couple of more lines, that they are talking about airdrop parameters here, airdrop amount, airdrop addresses. So all this is very, very pointing to the possible airdrop, and many people is taking this as a confirmation that the airdrop for Layer Zero is going to be here soon. So here on the step one, I post the link to that file on the GitHub repository of layer zero. And here you can search for the word airdrop and you can see that appears in many places. Actually, this Solidity file is inside a library folder and all this is part of this LC app, which is one of the contracts on this GitHub repository, but is also part of the repository of the, you can see it here, Solidity examples. So it's not really in the core of any of the repositories of layer zero that currently are in mainnet or anything like that. This is just a repository with the, like you can see here called example contracts and solidity examples. So is this mean that the code that we found here is a hundred percent confirmation for the airdrop? And the answer is not. The code here on this file is setting the parameters and everything for an airdrop. There's no doubt about that. They are using the amount, the address and all the configuration for the airdrop here on the contract. But this doesn't mean that they are going to use it or even that is part of any airdrop distribution or airdrop launching. In any case, it's not to discard, but I will not put so much hope because you find that somewhere in the contract here on this Solidity Examples repository, it says the word airdrop. But checking this information moved me to check the different other repositories and I went into the Omnichain Interoperability Protocol. This is the main Solidity 
repository for layer zero. And there I found a couple of files where actually they are also calling airdrop parameters and functions. So you can see how they manage airdrop Ethereum quantity. This is the quantity of Ethereum to airdrop on destination. Here you have some parameters talking about the airdrop address, the destination address to send Ethereum. It will be more bullish if we find something or some function that says sending SOAR tokens into the airdrop destina destination address, for example. But there's no mention of the airdrop and the token of layer zero together. So it's not clear after reviewing this if this is actually related to the airdrop that we are expecting for the layer zero token or just code that form parts of this task on the repository. But just because they call it airdrop doesn't mean that it's the airdrop that we are expecting. So let's keep an eye on all these new updates on the repositories. But for now, I will not say that this is confirmation of anything. Now, moving to the second point, here is a link to doon.com. Here you can check your missing chains interactions. So go to that link, you will see this. There are two tables here with more than 1 million rows in the first one. And here you can see the addresses. And here you have the source chain missing, for example, Gnosis and Cello and here the number of chain missing. So why this is important? For example, you can search for your own address. You put your address here and now you click enter and you can search it. And you will see, for example, that in this address, I am missing the source chain of Gnosis and Cello. There are two chains that I am missing the source chain. What that means is that one of the requirements or possible requirements for this airdrop is that you transact and bridge tokens between different networks using the layer zero bridge. That is why in my videos I talk a lot about the Stargate finance transfer function. So for example, you can send Ethereum from many different chains to the same different chains as destination. This is what the doon.com tables that I show you. Here you will put your origin chains and here you will put your destination chains. Here you can see that I am missing a sort chains, Gnosis and Cello. In Stargate, we don't have those chains. You can see there are many other chains that we have to interact. So if you are doing this airdrop, I recommend you to send Ethereum or any other tokens from the different chains to the other chains. Go and forth changing the chains that you use so you interact, for example, from Ethereum to Avalanche, from Avalanche to Polygon, or between the different networks that you have here. You can see that for that address, the only two missing are Gnosis and Cello. And the same is here for the destination chains. Here, there are many more. You even can see that there are testnet here, like Sepiol and many others. Maybe you don't need to pay attention to that, but for all the mainnet networks that you have on destination chains, you should pay attention to that and try to get usage of as many different chains that you can. We don't know exactly if that it will help you or not to the airdrop, but we are speculating based on many other airdrops that the usage of the main bridge transfers are part of the requirements for the airdrops. So try to do that. Check that link in order to search your own wallet here in these two search boxes and see what chains are you missing. And if you are wondering how to use Gnosis and Cello, one of the options is to use Angle. This is the app of Angle Money. This is a project that will have the usage of layer zero to bridge. So you can see here, you can bridge AG Euro and Angle tokens across different chains thanks to our custom layer zero bridge solution. So in this case, you can send, for example, Ethereum Agnosis chain and you will be able to send Angle and AG Euro. So in order to do that first, you will need to swap and buy one of those tokens here and then you can move it into this bridge to Gnosis chain. And you can see that you also have a Cello here, Cello mainnet, as one of the bridge options for the chains. So here you can move this token HGR or angle from those chains. So that will be a way using angle to apply and move funds using layer zero from Gnosis and Cello. 
but you can search many other protocols that will help you and they have these same chains for you to use and complete all the usage of the networks for layer zero. And this has been from a while, Angle integrates with layer zero to make AG Euro chain agnostic. And this was already from August, 2022. So this platform has been using layer zero for more one, than one year. And finally, guys, the step three is layer zero most interactive contracts. This is another dune.com link. And this link is going to help you to see what are the contracts that are most used for layer zero. You can see here, for example, Stargate from Polygon. This is a contract name, it's Router. And you can see the transactions con 3.41 million. And you have the link for Polygon scan and the contract address. This will help you to know, for example, the usage of applications and projects. So many of them are Stargate. So those are the bridge that we already mentioned. But here you can see Gnosis Chain. So you can use that. And you can see, for example, on Phantom Abracadabra. So you can use this protocol if you didn't use it. So if you are lacking of protocols to use, here you have NFT Bridge. So you can search for NFT Bridge, check this contract and use it. Here you have Polyhedra, Pandra. So this table is going to give you a lot of hints on many contract addresses that you can use and projects to continue working and using layer zero to generate more interactions. I think we are really close to the possible airdrop of layer zero and all this information is going to help you to get into the top one percentage of this airdrop. And remember that many of this information has been talked already in my layer zero channel on my private discord. We have many channels about general airdrops, new airdrops that I cover, meme airdrops, testnet airdrops, all the airdrop distribution is here on my channel also. So we don't miss any of the distributions. So many things are happening in my private Discord. If you want to join me, just go to my cryptocurrencystate.net website, go to subscription section above here. And here you can see all the information about my private Discord and my application because I created an app that will help you to apply to all these airdrops easily and have everything in an organized way. You can apply to all my airdrops and also your custom airdrops. So check this video if you want to know how my app works. And if you see this video, you will understand why my app is one of the best things in the market for airdrop hunters. So check that video, check the subscriptions. The subscriptions are really, really cheap. I am not meant to do this to get a lot of money. I am just charging a small amount for all the work that I have been doing on that and to keep up the expensive of my channel. So the subscriptions are really cheap. You can check it here too. Click on the green button to subscribe now and you will know exactly how to do it. So those are the three updates on this video for layer zero airdrop. We are still interacting with layer zero and farming with multiple wallets and paying a lot of attention to not be a civil. If you don't know what is that, search that video in my YouTube channel or website on how to never be blacklisted or consider civil for these kind of airdrops. That will be all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.